Tonight, the Texas Farm Bureau is setting the record straight when it comes to Nike. The Bureau says people think that they have banned Nike gear after the company's recent Colin Kaepernick campaign, but now saying that that's not the case. Fox 44's Renee Summerauer live in the studio to clear up the misunderstanding. Yeah, Robert Leslie, it's these shirts that you see right here with the little Nike swoosh on the side that has everyone talking. The communications director, Gene Hall, says that the Texas Farm Bureau was already getting rid of the shirts for a different reason. But since recent headlines gave a different story, that's when Hall says this whole thing is misleading. We're not taking a stand. We are not making a social statement. The Texas Farm Bureau wants to set the record straight. In the effort to stand for what he believed in. They did not ban Nike gear. Uh, they are not banned from wearing Nike products, which has been widely reported. That is not true. Communications Director Gene Hall says the Farm Bureau was already getting rid of the Nike brand shirts for a different reason. For some time, we have been concerned about what is essentially co-branding which is you buy a shirt from a name manufacturer and your logo appears on that shirt along with theirs. And that in effect makes you a prisoner of whatever marketing decision they make. And it only applied to employees out in the field and not every employee. We were getting complaints about uh, these shirts in the field. We understand uh, that some people are upset about the flag and the anthem and, and all of that. But we also recognize that protest is a uniquely American right. And the Texas Farm Bureau would never do anything that suggested that that right be impinged or, or withheld for, for any reason. We intended to step away from the controversy and because headlines were written on tweets that said we were banning Nike from, for our employees, that was not the, that was not the truth. Now, there were only 22 shirts out in the field that they were planning on getting rid of before all of this happened. Tonight at 930, Y Hall says it's inappropriate for the Farm Bureau to be involved in social matters. In the studio, Renee Summerhour, Fox 44 News.